Okay, got a box in the mail. Uh, this will probably be a real short one. But uh, it's from a place called Servo City. And if you haven't been to their website, you should go if you're interested in robotics. They have a lot of little uh, things for servos, uh, like uh, making robot arms and uh, clamping servo, like little uh, bent metal pieces to hold servos and put together things for robotics and stuff. So, uh, Servo City. Um, I got this off of eBay, so they have an eBay presence. And uh, the reason I got it was that I've been a very big fan of Mars Rovers um, since the original Sojourner. Uh, I fell in love with the Sojourner and thought, uh, you know, if I, ever, if I ever retire, maybe I'll uh, get around to building my own copy of the Sojourner. And I actually um, drew up some 3D CAD files and stuff and then uh, just never got around to it. So let's take a look and see here what's in the box here. Uh, we have candy. That's nice. We are truly thankful for your business and look forward to working with you again. Great. The other people that give candy is uh, Sweetwater. Uh, if you're into guitars or any type of musical instruments, uh, Sweetwater gives you uh, gives you candy as well. And uh, they have a lot of foam packing material. I think these are the kind that if you put in water, they dissolve. Um, never tried that before. But this is, oh, sorry about that. Uh, this is what I bought. So let's take a look at that one. Make sure I don't spill the peanuts everywhere all over the garage. All right, there we go. And make sure my solder paste is over there. Okay, Actobotics. Uh, bogey. So this is a bogey. They're boogey or bogey? I think a bogey. Boogie? Maybe Boogie. B-O-G-I-E. And uh, so what is it? Well, let's take a look. Uh, got some motors. Uh, so this is a little gear motors. These are right angle gear motors. Um, and you get three, four, five. You get six motors. So guess how many wheels this thing has? Six. Um, just like the uh, Sojourner. And it's got these nice little wheels. Two pack wheels. That's good. Oh, we want to take a look at them. Oh, nice little wheels. Looks like they just push onto the. Uh, onto the right angle gear motors. And so we got six wheels. And then we got a um, bunch of screws and washers and nuts and things and some brackets to put things together. And then we have a bag of plastic bits. Right. See we got. So, uh, this will be the uh, top surface of the of the rover, and then it will have um, the. Um, it goes like this. It'll have. I think it goes like that. It'll have it'll have six wheels, and I forget what this configuration is called. It allows the uh, rover to go over uh, over rough territory, keeping uh, keeping some of the wheels on the ground. And so we have uh, let's see, we have two right angle ones and two of these big ones, big ones. 
yeah, looks pretty cool. Alright, so we have a wheel, and the wheel just presses on to the, uh, presses on to the motor. There's a, uh, flat spots on the shafts of the motor. The, uh, wheel just sits on there. Not a great, uh, not a great connection. They might fall off. Um, but it would have been nice to have, like, a screw or something. I guess you can glue them on. I hate gluing things. But, um, some of these pieces have these cutouts and these holes, and the motor has a little knob here and that knob sits in that hole and then there's two other uh, holes here to go into two holes on the motor so I assume that's how it's mounted um, so so that's pretty cool um, and then there are some right angle pieces that have the same situation they have a hole and a way to hold the motor and stuff so that's pretty cool. There's some a little aluminum blocks here. Beam attachment blocks B. Beam attachment blocks A. And like I said, lots of uh, lots of screws and stuff to put the motors on. And then uh, I need to figure out how how this all goes. I'm pretty sure these go together. And then there's uh, something that holds these. And there's a... I think the original Rover had a bar in the center that equalized the two uh, sides. Uh, so it could never be farther than a certain amount off the ground. Um, so I will have to get out the pictures. Didn't really come with instructions. Um, that I saw. Let me look in the box again. Um, yeah, don't see anything in the box. So I just have to rely on the uh, on the website to, uh, to put it all together. Uh, I think it'll be pretty good. Uh, the one thing that it doesn't have is um, the um, the rover uh, had six wheels on it, and uh, the the outside wheels could also be pivoted. So this one they all face straight ahead. So when it turns it'll have to run one side and, and try to pull it around and maybe back up the other side. You could run this one forward and this one... Anyway. Um, it's not ideal. Uh, but for a, first, for a first platform it'll be kind of nice. I'll be able to test out motor drivers I'll be able to test out uh, power supply systems. You know, how big of a battery do I think I'll need? Um, uh, how big of a solar panel do I think I'll need? How long will it charge? Um, I'd like to have a radio link so I can control it remotely. Um, so yeah, I think it'd be a great platform. And it was a, it wasn't cheap. It was about seventy dollars, um, but uh, it's all in one place. It's all ready to go. Here's a picture of the rover put together, um, and let's see here, they had some other pictures, yeah, there we go. So we have a little cross member here, and there should be a cross member that goes across the, uh, the two sides as well. So it's uh, seventy-six dollars and ninety-nine cents free sh shipping. Bogey Runt Rover. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Anyway, I should be able to. Oops. Sorry, I'm getting a bunch of emails. Uh, I should be able to uh, put it together with these uh, with these pictures. So this uh, QR code here, it says, uh, scan this code for assembly instructions. And if you scan that code, it sends you to a YouTube uh, video of somebody assembling the, uh, the rover. So uh, 
that's what I'll do. I'll take a look at their video and put it together. All right, I got uh, most of the brackets in place. Um, there's a uh, two in the front that swivel, and then there's a a cross link here and a swivel back here, so they go opposite ways when you. Uh, that's original for the Sojourner. I remember that piece. Um, so when you go over a rock, it's uh, it actually operates very nicely. So I uh, just have to put the uh, motors on and the wheels, and uh, there we go. All right, there we go. Um, I got all the wheels on it. Seems to work okay. And uh, does need some electronics, but uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a nice platform. Looks good.